Uh, Arizona Cardinals at the Los Angeles Rams. Rams favored by seven against the feisty Cardinals. Last game in the 4 o'clock window here. Um, as we've said before, both of these teams have been far more fun to watch than we anticipated yeah. coming into the season. No, absolutely. Arizona is not going to give you any easy game. Um, even last week against the Bengals, the score got away from them, but it was like a couple of fluky interceptions. Like Not necessarily the best decision in the world, but I don't know if either of them deserve to be picked off and certainly not return for a touchdown and actually make a big impact on the score. They are going to fight for every inch, and they've been, <clears throat> they've been doing a good job of it this season. Yeah, I think, you know, with the Rams, I'm kind of like, I mean, the Rams are favored by seven, so obviously the man in Vegas thinks they're going to win and win handily. Um, I'm, I am intrigued to see more of this Rams offense here. You know, they played the Eagles last week, but more of this Rams offense with Cooper Cup back, with Puka Nakua as the breakout player that he's been, the inconsistent offensive line that they've just been completely hit or miss. That's always going to be the issue with McVay's offense, but I'm intrigued at seeing this. Seeing this offense well, moving it's like, forward with all their we- with more weapons, can the Cardinals generate the kind of pass rush to cause problems for that offensive line? Right beyond the barbarian, I don't know. And even the barbarian, like the dude, has nine pressures on the season. Shh, 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 shh. Come on, I'm just saying four sacks. Still, he does have four sacks. Sacks matter if it's from the barbarian. You sure? Certainly for a bet standpoint. Yeah. But the point being, it's not like you know. It's, do you know who their highest pressure total is? Cameron Thomas? Nope. Who? It's not Cameron Thomas. It's not the Barbarian. It is. Zayvon Collins. No. Who is Certified it? baller, Victor Dimukeji. Oh, yeah. That's why I love him. Yeah. So, and it's 12. So it's not like <laughs> this has not been the best pass rushing unit in the NFL. Uh, it feels like the kind of game where the Rams' offensive line will hold up and be okay, and that tends to lead to that offense actually looking very good. Particularly when, you know, that results in the coverage unit for Arizona trying to cover Cooper Cup. And yeah, this is where I, I don't think it's enough. I like the Rams to block it up better than they've had to, better than they have against the Eagles and the Bengals and teams that have better passes. Cardinals, so the Barbarian has nine pressures, four of which are sacks. Is a sack specialist. Zaven Collins has five pressures, three of which are sacks. What is happening to this group? Even even Dimukeji, twenty five percent of his pressures are, sna- are sacks. When they get home, when they get pressure, they get home. That's Almost it. all of them. It's bizarre. So Josh Dobbs has a sixty five grade here through five weeks. Continues to just play play well, play solid football. Literally yeah. every single player, uh, except. Jonathan Ledbetter has an above average rate of turning pressure into sacks. If they have a sack, they have an above average rate at converting it from the pressure volume that they've had. That's bizarre. How is that happening? I don't know, man. They're not going to keep it up. Not this week. Rams are going to win and cover. I believe the Rams will win, but I do not believe they will cover. All right. I'll take them. I'll take him cover in the seven. 